friends, I'm Yo Shiller, and welcome back to some more of my Pokemon Scarlet walkthrough. In the previous parts, I finally arrived here in this new city of ba -ba 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 -ba, Medali. Medali, Medali, however you pronounce it, I'm here. Now that I am here, I am able to get my next gym badge, or at least enter the next gym, I'm hoping. And also, also in the previous part, my Tinka Tuff evolved into a Tinkaton, and she is now a contender for one of my favorite Pokemon. In fact, I'm really liking all of the Pokemon that I have. It's really all coming together. I do admit, I do admit when Fry Guy was a Fue Coco, he was a lot cuter, but you know what? There's something to be said about just having this big, fiery beast of a Pokemon. So that's kind of fun. But otherwise, I'm liking how this whole team's coming together. It's quite nice. All right, well, let's go find the gym and take it on. Or rather, let's go find the gym leader. I mean, the gym's right here. Yeah, this is gonna hopefully be one of those classic gym parts. Unless this gym leader also wants to run over to the nearest farmer's market, I am ready to go and battle him or her right here, right now. Let's get it. I believe the map previously said that this was a normal type gym. That's fine with me. I got a ghost type Pokemon, so I'll be immune to normal type attacks. I've got a fighting type Pokemon, so I can be super effective toward them. And I've got a steel type Pokemon, so I can resist them. And I've got Mr. Tatsu, who's level 51, who probably won't even obey me, but if worse comes to worse, maybe he can go in and finish up the job. Anyway, it looks like my phone is ringing. What do we got here? Hey, yo, Schiller, it's me! How's the gym journey? Which one are you going for right now? Wait, seriously? I'm close by. Hang on, I'll come say hi. Really, you just happen to be here too much. I mean, we probably are just taking the same path. Did you get yourself a Tatsugiri as well? Let's see. How you doing? Look at you with two gym badges already. Awesome! And this is the gym you chose to be number three, huh? Well, you're up to the challenge for sure, but like, just be safe. You probably better, you probably better have a pre-gym warm-up battle with me. Yeah? You want to do this? Yeah, there's the enthusiasm. Now let's go. I'm all for this. Come on, the field of battle awaits. Yeah, where exactly are we battling? I thought this would be a traditional gym battle episode, but maybe that'll be in the next part of this walkthrough at this point. Maybe. I would prefer to have the the match... I would prefer to have the video where I have a rival battle be separate from the video where I have a gym battle. But, I mean, if this only takes like two minutes, then I guess I can put them together. Before you take on a gym, it's good to see if you can find the battle court in town and check it out. It helps to see where the court is, what it's made of, stuff like that. Those things might affect how the battle goes. Not in this game. How, what the court's made of doesn't change my moves unless it causes a terrain to show up. You know, you Schiller, one look at your face and it's obvious that you're getting even stronger. Do I look older? Did I forget to shave? Sorry, I prefer to be clean shaven when people look at my face. I think it's time I started introducing you to some of my harder hitters. Yeah? All right, ready? I'm ready. All right, let's see if Mr. Tatsu needs to carry this battle. <laughs> All right. Let us have a fruitful battle! It'll be nice to fight a trainer with more than one Pokemon. All right, what you got for me? It's nice to have a rival battle against you. Battle against Pokemon Trainer Nimona! I'm ready for it. Sending out Rockruff. All right, what am I starting with? Tink, tink, tink. Oh, you're in trouble. You are in trouble. You know that? Here. Think of this as a practice run for your next gym battle. Come at me with everything you've got. Yeah? Is that really what you want? Because this is about to be everything I've got. Check this out. Boom, baby! One hit KO. The only downside is I can't use that move twice in a row. Oh, nice moves! Your skills are sure are ripening. Yeah, I call that using the, using the strongest move in the game without consequence. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? Lots of experience. Let's send out a Pommy. All right, I got me one of those. You want to mess with the Pom Pom? You got it. Tink, tink, tink. Come on back. Especially since Electric Pokemon already resists Steel-type moves, it doesn't make sense to keep her in. So Pom Pom, you're up! It would be nice to give each of my Pokemon a chance to have battle at this point. There you go. Nice! Okay, well, then I will go straight for the Arm Thrust. We got it, alright. Boom. Woo! And then a second one has to connect. And there you go! Goodbye, Pommy! Good job, Pom Pom! Taking down your younger self! Moving on with the world, showing how far you've grown, I can appreciate it! There we go. All right, Pommy is down. Nice. But to send in a Flora Goto. I don't know what that is, but we're gonna have Miss Dolphy go against it. All right, or actually that, that's gonna be the evolution of Sprigatito, isn't it? Which means sending in Miss Dolphy is probably a terrible idea. But here you get to look at the dolphin real quickly. Isn't it cute? Don't pat yourself on the back just yet. My Pokemon's gonna turn the tables. Yeah? 
Yeah, that's gonna be the evolution disc for Gatito. Whoa! Yeah, that's no good for me. So, you know what then? We'll go ahead and have my starter Pokemon come on out. But you know what? That only looks like the second evolutionary stage for your Pokemon, whereas mine has reached the end. Here we go, check this out! Check out this bad boy! Since you have a Terra Orb too, we can both terrestrialize our Pokemon fair and square! Yes, we can. Yes, we can. I don't really feel the need to do that right now, but yes, I, I suppose I could. Alright, what you got? Is, is it just gonna be pure grass type? Because if that's the case, I don't really know how that's gonna benefit you! Alright, it looks like it is just pure grass type. Okay. And you're going for the home claws? Alright, then I better take you out now before you become a problem, huh? I'm glad you got to see my dolphin, though. In fact, you got to see a fair share of my Pokemon. Alright, let's go for the Torch Song. This is probably gonna be a one-hit KO. Alright, and... Boom, baby! Goodbye, Flora Goto. Yep, that will do it. One hit KO. Goodbye. Thank you. All right. Good job to my team. Nice. Finding those random level 50 Pokemon like two videos ago sure came in handy, huh? Nice. Haha, -ha, yep, your skills are ripening quick. Excellent, excellent. Cool. Well, then you know what? I will do the gym battle in this video. Man, you sure battle like someone with more than two gym badges. Well, that was a great battle. Fruitful for sure. Here, take these as thanks. Three full heals. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I challenge you again literally right now, but champions have to be understanding. So I'll hang back and respect your time. It was nice to battle you again, I'll be honest. Keep on collecting badges for now, and let's battle next time we run into each other at a gym. And yo, Schiller? I hope you get even stronger, like way... Way, way stronger. Will do. And once you do, you and me can just battle our hearts out. All right, time for you to whoop the gym test. Thanks for this. Thank you. I don't even think I really need to go and heal my Pokemon. I didn't terrestrialize or anything. All right, cool. Oh, nice. I even get to go straight back inside. All right, well, I'm ready for the gym test. Welcome to the Medali Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Yoshiller, yes? That's uh, me. Great! Now, in order to face gym leader Larry... Larry, and he's a normal type gym leader? I'm so sorry. You'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Medali Gym, that means ordering a special secret menu item. Specifically, a menu item at the Treasure Eatery, a much-loved restaurant here in Medali. Order correctly and you pass. Right now, there are three other challengers around town attempting this gym test. Each challenger has been given a different clue that'll help them discover the secret dish. You'll be given a clue as well. Please find and battle the other challengers. The loser must tell the winner their clue. That's kind of cool. Your goal is to gather clues and use them to determine the secret dish. Then order it from the waiter at the treasure eatery. Only the challenger who's able to order correctly will pass the test. Okay. Your clue is to your clue is find out how the regular season their dishes. I'd suggest you start by hearing what a regular at the treasure eatery has to say. All right, then I guess I'll head to the treasure eatery. And we're going to go ahead and put Pom Pom at the front of the party. I think those arm thrusts are going to come in handy. Alrighty. Let's see what we've got, huh? Hmm. So start by going to the treasure eatery. Okay. I can do that. Oh, hey, it's this song. That's cool. It's the, I mean, it's the gym theme, but it's, it's like a, a new variation of it. I, I just think that's fun. All right, if I go down here, is anything gonna happen? Can I go in there? I don't know, probably not. Just kind of looks cool though. Okay, so this isn't the treasure eatery though, that's just a churro stand. Which one of these is the treasure eatery? Best in all Paldea, nope, 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 nope. That's not the treasure eatery. This is the treasure eatery, right? No, this is go for broke grill. Although, how do you guys season your food? Hmm, nope, I can't tell anything differently. Oh, whoa, okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know which of these is the treasure eatery. In fact, is it marked on my map? Is that what I should have been doing? No, I don't think, oh, well, yes, it actually is. That is the treasure eatery. Okay, then I'll go over there, sorry. Anyone here taking the gym test? Well, I'll fight you. Yeah, here we go. Let's get it on. You're taking the gym test, aren't you? I can tell. Get ready to spill the beans about your clue. My clue is just to go to the treasure eatery to see how they season their food, but okay. Santiago, the student. Let's get it. Sent out a Dunsparce. Oh yeah, look at this thing. 
Dunsparce, the classic. I just gotta be careful with this thing because this thing has an ability so that secondary effects have a higher chance of occurring. And that includes things like flinching or if you use body slam, it has a higher chance to inflict paralysis. So I gotta take the thing out sooner rather than later. Aside from that, it's not a particularly good Pokemon. It's a cool looking Pokemon though. All right, I'm only gonna get the two. Yeah, looks like it. All right, drill run. Hang in there, I'm okay. I'm okay, we're okay. All right, get three arm thrusts and take this thing out. Here we go, one, and two. Give me the third one, please. Now we're talking, all right, Dunsparce is down. Goodbye, Dunsparce. I think they give off a pretty good experience point yield as well, right? So I should get plenty of experience points right now. Let's see, Dunsparce fainted. Ah, decent. Fry Guy is now level 42, that's handy. Okay, wants to learn Hyper Voice? That's probably better than you having Round, because Round does 60 damage, Hyper Voice does 90. So we'll go ahead and replace Round then, there you go. Boom, baby! Ta-da! Forgot how to use Round and learn Hyper Voice instead. Awesome. Goodbye, Santiago. Okay, we'll see what your clue is. Very good. Kind of fun to fight the other trainers throughout the town. Taking advantage of the fact that when you fight people in this game, you just fight people on the spot. All right, what is your clue? Fine, here's my clue, listen really closely. To the blue bird Pokemon. I'm still puzzling over that word it said. All that thinking kept me from focusing on the battle. The blue bird Pokemon. Okay. I'll see if I can figure things out. Oh, this? My squawk ability can talk. Talk a Billy. Talk a Billy. Isn't he the cutest? And this ain't nothing. No think. No think. Talkability to oh medium me oh must be like meat medium medium got it okay that's kind of cool I like it I like it okay hang on and then you Terra types huh I heard that you can change your Pokemon's Terra type at the treasure eatery but the chef turned me away at the moment I asked about it you can change your Pokemon's Terra type huh the famed treasure eatery Medallia's most famous restaurant the treasure eatery is right here we also have the secret dish for those of you currently taking on the gym test something medium. Well, in theory, I can order it without fighting the other two trainers, right? Let me see. Oh, no, there's there's definitely, like, stuff to do in here, huh? A secret menu item? Yeah, what do you know about it? Oh, you don't know anything about that. Okay, what about you? Are you a, are you a regular here? Hmm? Oh, yes, I do suppose I come here often. You must be a gym test challenger. Here's a tip for you. A nice squeeze of lemon gives any dish a refreshing kick. Place has rave reviews. Take an order at the front. Okay. Medium and then lemon. Medium and lemon. Let's see. Ah, uh, one of the gym test challengers. I hope you're able to figure out a special secret menu item. Oh, order the secret menu item. Okay. I'm ready to do it. Or I'll attempt to do it. Here we go. Now tell me, what will you be ordering? Medium. So like a steak, because that's medium, right? And what size will we be having? Oh, medium serving. How do you want that cooked? Oh, I don't have any of these. Or I don't, I don't know any of these. Uh, I, I guess we'll just go medium all the way through. Anything, uh, lemon. Got it, coming right up. Well, okay, so something with medium serving and a lemon squeeze. But in terms of everything else, this looks like a regular dish. Hope you enjoyed your meal. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need the other clues. I'm gonna, learn, I'm gonna need to learn what style I want it cooked in. Medium is just the serving size. I thought that was the way I wanted the steak cooked. I don't even know if I'm supposed to get steak. I'm, pro I'm probably not. So yeah, I'm gonna need to find those other two trainers. Very well. Where are you guys at? I'm coming for you. Oh, hang on. I guess you're right here. Well, what's up? Excuse me, you're taking the gym test, right? Tell me about your clue to the secret dish. Come on, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me! All I know is that it involves a lemon. <laughs> and that you gotta get it medium. All right, let's see what you got for me. Gumshoes, the evolution of Young Goose. It's not a particularly good Pokemon, so I'm not super worried about it. It might take me out, but I'm not super worried. There you go, arm thrust it! Here we go! All right, those hit number one. I might need four hits, that's hit number two. Hit number three, can I get the fourth one? I can, huzzah! Good job, Pom Pom! Awesome, see you later. Hooray for normal types! All righty, there you go. Okay, gumshoes faded. Very good, very good, very good. And, Tink Tink Tink's gonna level up. Oh, and Mistolf is gonna level up. Okay, the next Pokemon's Greedent. We'll keep Pom Pom in. Take down all these normal types with my fighting type here. 
I'm just glad I got a fighting type. I didn't know it was gonna evolve into a fighting type. I'm just glad it worked out that way. Okay, so we're gonna arm thrust it. Okay, oh. I think even if I get all five arm thrusts, it's not gonna take this thing out. But you know, the more the merrier. Okay, that's three. Three was about half, yeah. I need another... I need to connect another three. Oh god. I'm okay. I'm okay. Counter is a move that always goes last, but it deals double damage of however much damage it took that turn to the opponent, as long as it was hit with a physical attack, which is what arm thrust is. Oh god. If you're using counter, or if you're using anything, I'm dead. Yep, goodbye. Sorry, Pom Pom. Tell you what, though. Maybe this is a chance for me to properly use Miss Dolphy. All right. Miss Dolphy. You want to finish this thing off with Aqua Jet? You've just kind of, you just, you, you've kind of just been sitting in my party. I'd actually like to battle with you for a change. So let's get that Aqua Jet going. Here we go. Boom, baby. Goodbye, greetings. Miss Dolphy, you were able to battle something and you won. Good job. Yay! Lots of experience for fighting a Greedent! Cool. Alright, I wish we could just trade clues like we trade Pokemon. I mean, you can just tell me stuff. You can just tell me stuff. Here, my clue is that it involves a lemon. Now, what is your clue? My clue is to look for something that's the odd one out at the ice cream stands. Come to think of it, I could use some ice cream. Okay. Something at, odd at the ice cream stands. Odd one out at the ice cream stands? Come try a bite. Greetings from Kanto! How about a taste of the crepes that are all the rage right now? Strawberry, strawberry, oh, chocolate. Is that the one that's, uh, oh, I, I mean, is that what you're getting at? But those are crepes, that's not ice cream. This is, this is ice cream. Refreshing ice cream, yeah. The odd one out. Grilled rice balls, got it. Got it, so I gotta get grilled rice balls, medium serving size, and then I have to figure out, I have to figure out how I need it cooked. Like flamethrower style or fire blast style. So I guess that's where the third trainer is going to come into play. I probably could just guess, but I'll, I'll, I'll go fight the third trainer. I'll see what the clue is and then I'll order the proper food and then I'll fight the gym leader and then we'll be good to go. All right, so let me find that final trainer. He's probably going to be like right in the middle of town. All right, so let's see. Right, not you. How about it? How about a sandwich? I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Hmm. I've got to order the secret dish. I guess it was you. I guess I went right past you, huh? Okay. Do you have a clue about the secret dish? Guess I'd better beat you and learn it. Got it. All right. So grilled rice balls, lemon, medium size. This, this is kind of fun. I like this. This is kind of interesting. I like, once again, I just like that we're actually fighting in the city. I think that's cool. And I like that it's like, you get a clue for a place you have to go to, but then it's not directly what you're supposed to do, you know? Like, I got a clue that I had to go to the ice cream stand, and the ice cream stand was what told me what item I had to order on the menu. So that that's just cool. I like it. I'm liking this gym challenge. I'm liking this game. Oh, play rough. Golly, you guys are ready for fighting types, huh? Very well. All right, Miss Dolphy, you want to give this another whirl? Maybe this is Miss Dolphy's gym. Just like I thought Pom Pom was gonna do super well in the in the water gym, and it turned out it was Tink Tink Tink's time to shine. All right, Miss Dolphy, let's go ahead and Aqua Jet it, huh? You might not KO it with this Aqua Jet. Oh no, certainly not. Uh, Miss Dolphy, I'm so sorry. All right, do I want to try Mr. Tatsu? You know I kind of do. It's my first time entering Mr. Tatsu into a gym battle. Now there's a chance it might not obey me. It's super high leveled, but we'll give it a try. All right, go for the muddy water. Ah, oh, great. Well, this is what I get. You went for play nice instead of play rough. Play nice, what does that even do? My t lowers my attack step? That's fine, I'm going for a special attack. Come on, you just gotta connect the one. Ugh, Mr. Tatsu. You gotta attack it before you get hit with play rough because it'll be super effective toward you too. It's okay if Mr. Tatsu can't pull it off, but it, ah. Uh, this is what I get, and there's the play rough. You did this to yourself, Mr. Tatsu. Do you now feel compelled to fight? There you go. There's the muddy water. And now the Ursaring is down. Goodbye, Ursaring. Good job, Mr. Tatsu. Okay, plenty of experience, good stuff. All right, thank you for that. I can't believe this gym test makes us steal each other's clues. That's fighting dirty. That's stealing. I'm beating you and getting something for it. Okay. What do you got for me? The clue I was given was to look for a dark spot surrounded by stairs. I don't remember seeing that particularly dark spots in the stairs. What, a dark spot surrounded by stairs? So this? 
What about it? This is a dark spot surrounded by stairs, is it not? You're standing right next to it and you're telling me you can't find it? Unless this isn't it. But it is a dark spot surrounded by stairs, is it not? Alright, let me heal up real quickly and see if there's maybe another spot that better fits that description. And it probably is good that I went for you last. Because that's like that's been like the least helpful clip of the uh, least helpful clue of them all. Okay, let me see what I can find. There we go. Okie dokie. Very good. Alright. All set. Let's see what I can find. A dark spot surrounded by stairs. I mean, th these are like the only stairs in town, right? They're not spicy. No. No. There's nothing else I can really do over- Oh, wait, yeah. I guess I can go in here. What's this? There's some faint writing in here. It says fire blast. Got it. You know, I went by these stairs at the beginning of the part and it was like, can I do something here? No, I can't. That's what it was for. It was for this gym challenge. Got it. So that's everything I need. I have to order rice balls, medium sized serving, cooked to fire blast temperature with a squeeze of lemon. That actually sounds kind of good. Okay. Then I got it. I'm ready. I'm ready for it. I'm all healed up and I'm ready to go. Let's get it on. All right. Uh, one of the gym test challengers. Yes, sir. All right. So I was I was pretty off before. It had nothing to do with steak. So I was doomed from the start. Okay. So we want grilled rice balls. And what size? Medium serving. And then we want it cooked fire blast style. And then we want a lemon. Medium serving grilled rice balls fire blast style with fresh lemon on the side. Gotcha. Yeah, there's a whole cutscene this time. That means I did it correctly, right? Medium rice balls, extra crispy with lemon. There you go. And is everyone else going to like react? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. What happened to all the people died in there? Did the whole room just like flip over? Hey, no, you got some explaining to do. Congratulations. You passed the gym test. You have now you now have the right to challenge the gym leader. Please come speak to me again when you're ready to battle. I mean, I'm ready to battle right now. I'm glad I passed. Cool. All right, I'm, I'm ready for it. Let's do it right now. I'm all healed up and ready to go. Let's get it. Do you want to face the exceptional everyman himself? Gym leader Larry? Larry the everyman, huh? You know, I'm so glad they named him Larry. Cause that's, I, I'm sorry for those of you out there that are named Larry, but Larry is such an everyman name. In that case, please head on to the battle court. Larry, you're up. <laughs> oh, was Larry the guy, the regular here? Oh, that's actually cool. That's actually cool to it. Is he just a businessman? Hello. I'm Larry. I'm assigned to work as the gym leader of the Medali gym. All right, you know what? This game makes me smile more and more the more I play it. Good job on making your way through the gym test. And well, Maybe try the other, other dishes on the menu, too, sometimes. Everything's good here. Larry! Anyway, my boss will dock my pay if I spend too much time chit-chatting. Let's get this battle over with. Alright, so as I said at the beginning of this part, I've got a fighting type to deal super effective hits towards you. I've got a ghost type, so my your moves will be immune to me. And I've got a steel type. And I've also got a dolphin and a little dragon thingy. Thank you for doing business with us today. I, Larry, will be at your service. Yeah, you gotta straighten that tie, of course. You are challenged by gym leader Larry! So it's out of Komala. Alright, let's get it on. I'm, I'm so ready for this. Here we go. Let's get it. I just ate, so let's not go too hard. <laughs> okay. Alright, come with us. Yeah, you're drowsing. I can't put you to sleep, but I don't intend to. What I do intend to do is go straight for the arm thrust. There you go. Boom. Okay, there's hit number one. I think it's gonna take four to take you out. Let's see if I can get four. There's three. And there's four! All right, Kamala's already down. Boom, baby. All right. Oh, I do appreciate that there's a Greedent on the little mural in the background because it's a normal type Pokemon that likes food. That's fun. Da done sparse. Keep current Pokemon in. Da -da what does this look like? This is a big old Dunsparce. All right. Well, rinse and repeat, I guess. Arm thrust. It's always important to rinse after a meal, after all. Oof. 
Okay, let's see. That's two. That's three. Okay, three got me to about halfway. So I think I need three or four to take it out next time. Drill run. Oh, God. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. All right, we're going to go straight for the arm thrust and hope for the best. All right. There's hit number one. Hit number two. I think I need two more. Let's see. I do need two more. There's hit number three. And we got it! Dun dun sparse down! Excellent stuff. Th that is a weird looking Pokemon, but I am glad it exists. Okay. Dun dun sparse. What a name. What a name. Okay, you're sending in Staraptor. Yeah, I guess it is a normal type, but it's also flying type. So that means it's gonna it's gonna be a bit of a problem for me. So what I'll have to do, I get the feeling Pom Pom's gonna go down right now. So I'm gonna paralyze it. Nope, Intimidate won't do much for you. All right, we're gonna paralyze it. Here we go. You're pretty good. I might end up losing this. Okay. Come on, Larry! Step it up a notch! <laughs> We've got hungry customers waiting. Give them something to cheer for, you hear? There you go. What is happening? We're having a cutscene in the middle of the battle. Okay, that's different. I appreciate the game mixing it up right now. Show us what you've got, Larry! Oh, and, and you too, kid! Well, you heard the good folks. I suppose I can put on a bit more of a show. Yeah, what you got for me? I guess if I wanted to, I could have ter terastalized myself and gone for a pure electric type pom-pom. But all right, here we go. A normal type Staraptor. Which means my electric moves aren't even going to be super effective toward it anymore anyway. Which means you just made yourself weak to fighting moves. That's basically what you did. Well, all right. If nothing else, you're going to be paralyzed. So that's handy. Okay. We got it. We're getting it. I think it's time to show you that real life isn't all just being true to yourself. All right. Fas oh, you had facade the whole time? Uh, I just made you twice as strong. Facade is the damage that deals... Facade is an attack that deals more damage if it's inflicted with a status ailment. And I basically just screwed myself over as a result. Okay, well you can't use facade on Fry Guy. So, you're gonna have to try something else. Boom. If you wanna use a flying type move, that's fine, but you just made yourself weaker for it. And I will go for Torch Song. So here we go. You being paralyzed means you are now slower. There we go. And I am now making myself stronger. So one more Torch Song ought to do it. Aerial Ace. All right, let's see how much it does. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Let's finish it off with one more Torch Song. More like a Swan Song for you. Although I acknowledge you're not a Swan. You're a Raptor. But I will take you down regardless. Cool. Goodbye, Staraptor. But yeah, you are a normal type. That works. All right, I defeated Larry! Nice! You certainly threw me for a loop. Woo! That was a fun gym challenge. Definitely my favorite one so far. I'm liking this. I'm liking this game. You're rather strong, aren't you? Enough to bring in out my old poker face, even. I lost, so that means I have to give you a badge, but... <laughs> what, you're still hungry? That battle made me a bit hungry. Care to join me for a meal? You know what? I, I will join you for a meal, as long as you're paying. Not- oh, look at all the rice balls. Look at that. Cool, well, those are for you. I'm not a big rice ball kind of guy. I'll just eat rice, though. Having three gym badges in hand makes it easier to catch Pokemon of up to level 35, which means Tatsugiri is still not gonna obey me for a bit. It'll be a while. Oh, and they'll actually listen to you, too. This is for you. Though hopefully a child like you has no need to put it on its namesake. TM25 Facade, that's a very useful move to have. There you go. This move's power is doubled if the user is poisoned, burned, or paralyzed. Yep, and it's really good if you put it on a Pokemon whose ability is Guts, whose power is doubled if it's poisoned, burned, or paralyzed. So you put that on like Ursaring, and then you use Facade and you've got like a base 300 power attack. The dishes here, they've all got flavor. G good flavor, I mean. Oh, don't worry about the bill. I do earn a salary after all. Now I'd better get back to work if you'll excuse me. Well, I appreciate it. What an interesting gym battle for a normal. They made the normal type gym. The, 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 okay. Was that the joke that the normal type gym was the most exciting one so far? Cause that's actually kind of clever if it is. They made, it makes sense that he's a businessman. He's this boring old businessman, but that whole 
adventure was so exciting. I loved it. Pardon me, hello. I remember you from the academy because I complimented on your hair. You just defeated the gym leader, yes? And your name is Yoshiller, if I recall correctly. Tell me, do you seek to become a champion? I sure do. Just what I hope to hear. You have a rare talent, especially for your age. Aim high, greater heights are within your reach. Oh, but I've gotten ahead of myself. I am Gita, chairwoman of the Pokemon League, the organization that runs these gyms. As you seem to be collecting gym badges, I suspect we'll meet again down the line. Until then, good day to you. Are you the, the boss of that other guy who was like, oh, you know, my boss will dock my pay if I don't battle immediately? Well, be nice to him. He gave me my favorite battle so far. All right, three gym badges down, five to go. And then I can go and take on these Titan Pokemon and whatnot. Good stuff, good stuff. Well, before I conclude this video, I guess I should probably set a course for where I want to head next, huh? So let me see. I believe next I would want to continue heading north. And then I guess I'm heading over into this icy area. That would make sense as the next location or no, that's a Titan badge. That is a star badge. Yeah, that's a gym badge. That's ghost. Are these both gym badges? They are. There's two up here? Huh. And how am I supposed to know which one to do next? Or wait, is there three up here? No, it's a, that's a star badge. We don't want that one yet. We want gym badges. Or does the game actually want me to complete the circle and save those two for last? Is that the idea? Because there's a grass badge here, and I can't imagine... It's... Like, the, the grass badge being last? That seems weird to me. And a titan badge, and then a star badge. Okay, so hang on. So maybe what I will do is I'll go into this icy region and maybe I will go for the ice badge next and then I'll do, let's say, the ghost badge after that. Probably. Or maybe the ghost badge first. I did say I wanted to go clockwise. So maybe I should do the ghost badge first. All right then. So we'll set you as my next destination. We'll see how this whole icy location is going to work in due time. But for now, there's a greedent walking by. Hello. Hello. I'm pressing A in front of it, nothing's happening. All right, well, I guess that's gonna have to do it then. For now, that wraps up this part of my Pokemon Scarlet walkthrough. And I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all in future videos. Bye-bye, humans. Whoosh. Hey, thank you for watching my video. If you want to continue to support my content, the best thing you can do is like this video and subscribe to my channel. All you have to do is click the little buttons down below. Also, please be sure to follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with my video schedule. My tag is at RealYoShiller. I hope to see you all in future videos. Bye-bye. Whoosh.